Hi, everyone. Diane Willock, Customer Success Coach here at Supermoms. And we are live today. I'm joined by Maria Stanford, uh, Customer Success Coach at Supermoms in the UK. And we are going to be talking about Marketing Cloud again. And we're going to be talking about how to niche yourself and stand out by upskilling and marketing cloud. So um, Maria, uh, I thought maybe I'd pass it over to you to kind of start off and talk a little bit more about this topic and you know what are the benefits of learning marketing cloud? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, you know, marketing cloud um, is certainly a really sought after position, isn't it, at the moment? And it, it's certainly an area that people are starting to niche down into, which does make you more attractive if you if you are a specialist in that area. So when we kind of talk about um, niching, you know, this can, we do that in coaching, don't we? And we do that in, in other aspects. And I always kind of think, you know, it's kind of when you look at a dartboard, it's that bullseye, isn't it? Of, OK, this is where I'm aiming for. But mm -hmm. actually, there's all these other things on the outer Um but, you know, your niche is something that you are an expert in and, right. um, you know, you can really sell yourself around the skills in, in that mm -hmm. area. So I think kind of I would start by asking, um, you know, a couple of questions really about yourself in the fact of, you know, what sets you apart mm -hmm. um, from other potential candidates that are going for that marketing cloud role? Mm -hmm. because yes that is a niche area but actually it also comes down to skills plus those transferable skills and ultimately selling yourself isn't it Diane right, really? right. Mm -hmm. you know so what sets you apart from those other marketing um, candidates mm -hmm. and then also kind of what makes you unique you know in business we're always looking for our unique selling point um, and we really need to be doing that as individuals when we're going out, you know, what is unique about us and start to explore that. So certainly when you get to that interview stage, um, you know, you can, you can, um, you know, totally understand why you're the best candidate for that role. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think learning uh, marketing cloud is really hot. Like we said right now, those, those skills are in demand right now. I think no matter where you are on the Salesforce spectrum, you're just starting off in Salesforce, you're an admin, or you're someone that's looking to you know, make a career shift, or you're someone that has been in traditional marketing, um, adding on Marketing Cloud could be really uh, fruitful for you to, again, differentiate yourself uh, from the crowd and their skills that you gain um, by learning uh, marketing cloud, you know, those digital marketing skills. I talk about this all the time, how much traditional marketing has changed uh, since I was, um, you know, that's my background. I uh, have my bachelor's in uh, marketing and it's really changed and it's continuing to change. Learning marketing cloud and learning those digital skills, really getting an in-depth view of that shows that you have that um, creativity. I think that adaptability because you're, you know, it is a changing world. It's, it's, it's moving. Um, really quickly and organizations are trying um, their best to keep up with that. So you're learning those, you know, key skills that you need and it's giving you some of those soft skills like creativeness, adaptability, flexibility, multitasking. Um, digital marketing is all about, um, you know, paying attention to the customer across all different channels, right? And making that consistent. So you have to be a good multitasker to be able to do that. So I think gaining some of those soft skills are really important too, right, uh, Maria? Yeah, absolutely. And those soft, you know, those soft skills are really, really important. Mm -hmm. And as you say, you know, digital marketing is just growing at an exponential, exponential rate, isn't it? It's just mm -hmm. growing so rapidly and changing so rapidly. And I know that I'd read somewhere where it was saying, um, especially as, you know, technology changes and, and certainly in the future, you know, the area to be, you can be a jack of all trades. Do you use that? Do you use that phrase yes. in the US? <laughs> we do use um, that. <laughs> And so, yes. like, you know, you can be a jack of all trades, can't you? Or a generalist. Yeah. You know, there is a place for that. But actually, right. for security, I think yes. for future, um, you know, for future job roles, mm -hmm. kind of being able to niche down into something right. and really be an expert in that area with mm -hmm. all of your transferable skills and those softer skills mm -hmm. really does offer that kind of security, but career progression. Um, right. 
right? Because you're going to be sought after, you know, mm-hmm. if, if you've got all of those pieces of the puzzle, mm-hmm. you know, this is then, um, you know, people will be reaching out to you on LinkedIn, you know, it, it's kind of that, isn't it? You want to be headhunted, really, and you can do that if you are in a you want niche. people area. to come to you, right? You want people yeah. to come to you. We, ch- we have a great example. We talk about it all the time. Some of our super moms that have gone through training, coming from a traditional marketing background um, and wanting to upskill in digital marketing and taking marketing cloud uh, course and adding that onto their skill set, they've been able to increase, um, you know, their, their number of, um, you know, individuals reaching out to them for a job by, I think it was three times some of our um Super moms have gone through really just getting so much more um, interest because they've skilled up in marketing cloud. So again, it's a really hot market right now. It's very much in demand. Uh, it's the fastest growing cloud out there right now for Salesforce. So if you're thinking about it, if you're a traditional, you know, uh, marketer trained. Um, and you really want to have some high in demand skills, I think marketing cloud is a great way to go, as well as we've talked about this before, just um, if you're a Salesforce admin and you're thinking about adding on some of these niche skills, you know, you're going to really um, learn more about that customer experience um, and that's going to help you in your role, but also maybe carve out another role for you in the future. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, having those skills and you can niche in other areas, can't you? Right. Um, mm-hmm. Within Salesforce. So, mm-hmm. that, you know, this is one area, but it's an area that we really love because it right. is something that is really <laughs> right. quite exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, and there is that growth area in there, isn't there? So actually it is something that is sought, as I said before, it's something that's sought after. So, mm-hmm. you know, having that and being able to showcase those skills you know, that does reflect in, in other areas, doesn't it? Even if you're you're wanting to branch out after perhaps that marketing cloud. So, you know, marketing cloud consultant, you can go and then, right. you know, you can progress through that um, and have that career progression. And I kind of think also, I mean, you are the brand queen, Diane, <laughs> um, uh, you know, so you can probably touch on this more than me. But I think also when you're especially on places like LinkedIn mm-hmm. and you're starting to build your personal brand, Right. Adding this kind of skill in is really important, isn't it? Because it is starting to build that that personal brand that you need. Right. Right. Um, Exactly. That's really important. Again, you want to differentiate yourself and, you know, being consistent with your message and, uh, you know, um, building your brand up, adding these skills on. I mean, that's going to help differentiate you and you're going to start to see um, who do you need to focus on? You know, what areas do you need to focus on as you're building up your brand? Um, So, uh, yeah, that's really important. I think we're we're talking about that a lot is really how to niche yourself in that Salesforce um, ecosystem, how to make yourself stand out and what skills do you need? And I don't think there's any better way than adding on, you know, skills that are most in demand right now. So um, and and again, specializing too in marketing cloud is possible. You know, you can um be mostly interested in being an email marketing, you know, specialist. So marketing cloud email specialist. So if that's the area that you love and you want to concentrate on, that would be a great uh, skill set to add on um, to your current Salesforce skills. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're talking about standing out from the crowd, um, I think what's really nice about our marketing cloud course is when you've got access to that trial org where you where you're working in that live system and being able to work on your capstone project, you can take snippets of that and actually present that at interview or Mm -hmm. to potential employers or recruiters and show them actually what your skills are. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to stand out, you can actually demonstrate that, can't you? It's not just a theoretical learning actually that that you've done if you're doing that as self-study we give you the ability to actually really be able to stand out as well in that interview process to be able to showcase your skills Mm -hmm. that you've learned I think that's really important to to point out you know um the difference between going through a super mom's training program you're going to number one get uh live training which is really important because you can ask questions, you can see demonstrations, um, but also access to marketing cloud uh, cloud platform. Um, If you're doing it on your own and you're trying to learn marketing cloud on your own, you get very limited time, right? To get that hands-on practice. So Super Moms provides uh, more of that hands-on experience for you. um, And that is essential because you can, again, like you said, 
show your work, so to speak, you know, because you're practicing in there, you get up to four weeks um, to practice within that platform that you don't get if you're trying to train on your own. So if you really want to dive into marketing cloud, learn the skills, but also be able to practice it, it's really important to have a training program like Supermoms offers to be able to do that. So um, good point. That's great. I'm wondering if we have any questions. It's really silent right now. We don't have any questions, but we're willing to answer uh, any questions that anybody has uh, regarding Marketing Cloud or if you're thinking about it and you're wondering if it's for you. You can either comment below, ask a question, or reach out to myself, uh, Diane Willack, or Maria Stanford. We can both be found easily on LinkedIn, or um, you can reach out to us on uh, by email, Diane at supermoms.org, Maria at supermoms.org, and just ask us. You know, we, we'd be happy to talk to you and work through what are your options? What can you do to niche yourself in this market, and what might be the best steps or actions for you to take. So we'd love to talk to you. That's what we do. We coach and counsel others on, um, you know, how to do that, how to differentiate yourself in this um, market and in this area. Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, have you got any top tips, Diane, that you would say to somebody, you know, how can you stand out mm -hmm. from the I, crowd? Yeah, I think, um, you know, standing out from the crowd and differentiate yourself. First of all, you have to really know about yourself, right? And what your yeah, goals yeah. are. That's one of the, um, you know, what I go over a lot in my coaching sessions is we talk about where do you want to be? Where are you now? Where do you want to be? What are your goals? And also just finding out about yourself and what's important to you and where do you see yourself, you know, being and, and what, what type of work do you enjoy doing? And then you look at your personality um, and it's important to bring your personality out and in your messaging. So you got to make sure that you have your personal brand. I know we talk about this quite a bit, but your personal brand down, your personal brand is really who you are. And that is what is going to differentiate you from everybody else. But I think we first have to start off, get to know yourself a little bit better, get to know what your strengths are, get to know what your good transferable skills are, and then also bring your personality into that message. And that is going to make you stand out. People want to know who you are. They want to know your story. Um, you know, employers hire employees that they like. I mean, it always still comes down to that. You know, where's that connection? Um, so it's up to you. You have to try to connect, um, you know, create that connection and make sure that when someone is uh, looking at your profile or looking at your resume, what comes through? You know, do they know who you are? Do they um, feel confident that you're going to be able to um, fit in with their organization, with their with their company? And what do you bring to the table that's different from everybody else? And it's it is a process. But um, once you get that down and once you know where your true strengths are and what you can do to solve a problem for an organization or how are you going to be able to help them? then it's easy. Then you just create your messaging and you go out there and people will come to you. <laughs> That's the best part. They will come to you and they will find you. Yeah, I, I love that. I kind of think, you know, you're absolutely spot on there because it is about skills, isn't it? And it is about kind of having a presentable CV. But actually, you have to have your own personality, don't you? And that mm -hmm. does have to shine through. You do have to find those unique selling points about yourself and be able right. to confidently sell yourself. And sometimes right. it can feel a bit uncomfortable, can't it? You know, it can. you're not always it can. comfortable with doing that. You're um, looking inside yourself and you have to be truthful. You know, one of one of the tips I always give the individuals too is ask somebody else too. You know, ask someone in your support network. We're actually going to be talking about support network in one of the upcoming coaching sessions and ask others, you know, how do they how do they view you? Um, and part of building up your brand messaging, too, is we talk about how would someone introduce you if you weren't in the room um, or how would they talk about you? That gives you kind of a hint to, you know, what stands out about you as a person and how someone else would describe you or talk about you or introduce you. Um, so it's always a good idea to to get other opinions, too. And that might be uncomfortable, yes. <laughs> but as someone you trust, a family member, a good friend um, and have them be honest with you. And that might be able to, you know, give you the start that you need. So.
Yeah. And I, I think that is, you know, coaching is about that reflection, isn't it? And so, right. you know, that is a brilliant tip because generally as coaches, that's what we're doing. We're reflecting back what we see and by asking somebody else right. about what our strengths are or how they view us, mm-hmm. that's exactly that. They're, they're actually reflecting that back. So then we start to believe it. So and we, so- yeah, it builds your confidence yeah. up. You're like, and especially if they match up, you know, what you're thinking about yourself and what someone else says about you, if it really matches up, it's great. If it doesn't match up, that is a Uh, you know, kind of a key learning area, then you can start thinking about, oh, how am I presenting myself to the world then? You know, if everybody is seeing me in this way, and I want to present myself this way, there's got to be a change. So that'll give you a little bit of a tip on, you know, kind of what to go on and and what to work on. So um, it's all good in the end. It just takes a little bit of, um, you know, putting yourself out there (laughs) in the beginning. Uh, We do have a couple of questions, Maria. I don't know if you... um, it looks like um, Marcia has asked, I have an email or Marcia, I'm sorry, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but I have an email specialist certification. I come from the design world. I wonder what other skills technologies you think can help me round up my profile and make me competitive in marketing cloud specifically. Um, I'm not sure from your question if you have a marketing cloud certification or you just have the email specialist certification. Um, So I would ask, um, you know, if that's specific in marketing cloud, I'm assuming that's what you're saying. You may want to go for another certification such as the um, admin marketing cloud admin certification or possibly adding on some uh, consultancy skills. What do you think, Maria? Yeah, definitely. I think because you can do these separate, can't you? So you can actually be um, an email specialist right. and a, a marketing cloud administrator. Mm-hmm. Our course actually offers um, kind of two courses in one. So you're actually working towards those two certifications, but you can right. do them separately. Yeah. So certainly I would say if you're looking to um, upskill and get competitive um, and really stand out, definitely if you haven't already that marketing cloud administrator. And then as Diane said, that next step is really around that consultant um, and also perhaps looking at kind of, um, so yes, doing that as a certification, but also consultancy skills, right. um, you know, mm-hmm. around business analysis within that area and change management, etc. Right. I think, um, you know, the business analysis would be um, a great certification to add on because it really is about um, helping to analyze situations and figure out what the requirements are of situations. If you have then a marketing background, I think that would be Um, a good marriage of skills to have. So that would be another route. You're right. Going into business analysis, adding those skills on. And then just, you know, really, again, I don't know um, when's last time you kind of took a a look at, you know, what your other experiences were or what your, you know, um, what your other skills are and just kind of almost, um, you know, bring those out again, right? Sometimes we we yeah. forget of some of the skills that we've had in past jobs or, you know, any type of experience that we've had. Um, we think they're not important. Some of those skills may not be important, but you might be surprised. You could already have some business analysis skills there. You could already have some project management skills. And um, it's really about making sure that those are there and are visible um, yeah. so that differentiate yourself. So sometimes, you know, even though you have like the certifications, you also kind of got to look at what are those other soft skills that I have that I can, you know, bring out and make sure that they're visible and make sure that they are visible to the target that I, you know, and the target jobs that I want to go for. So that's important too. So just maybe just doing an overall assessment, you know, of yourself and your skills would be important too. Yeah, definitely. Any, if there's a follow-up question, definitely then um, please ask that. Uh, we'd be happy to answer it. And I think we have one more question too. Market The market has, is hot. Is it in the USA or other countries such as in Canada? Um, I'm here in the US. I can tell you marketing skills is, is very hot here. So, um, and here here's the, uh, you know, it's hot globally. I can definitely say that marketing cloud is growing very quickly here in the U.S., but marketing and digital marketing skills are hot everywhere globally. Um, And marketing cloud happens to be the, you know, fastest growing cloud. Obviously, Salesforce is, um, is, you know, top of its class. So it is growing globally, I would tell you that. Um, And so the market 
everywhere, wouldn't you say, Maria, is really, yeah, you know, I, Yeah, I would totally right agree. Now. It is definitely globally. And, and the, the problem with that being is that because, um, I mean, Salesforce is just seeing such great growth anyway, right. um, that kind of when you've got that niche area, there isn't as many skilled people within within yes. that area. So when you see that big growth, you then have a shortage um, a shortage of, of talent. Right. So also certainly it's a, it's a candidate's market, isn't it? it, is what you see kind of in, in those areas. So yeah, I mean, it's something that is hot, it's something that is growing. It's a really exciting area to be, you know, to be exploring. So um, I'm not too sure kind of what, what your background is. Again, I'd be asking right. those questions to see, okay, you know, is this the right next move? Do you have a marketing background, you know, especially kind of digital Digital marketing as you said Diane it's just growing so quickly isn't it and marketing in general is just changing so much right and it changes all the time right and it yeah. changes all the time um, but businesses are I, I saw a quote actually I think Salesforce had quoted this when they were talking about marketing cloud and they were saying that um, 80 percent of their customers are saying that um, the customer experience so that digital experience is just yeah. as important as their product or service that they're offering yes. So if you imagine that the weight that they're putting on that customer experience is just as important as their product that they're offering, um, that tells you a lot. These are they need people that are going to be able to create these experiences and these customized experiences. So I think another point um, is definitely that, you know, remote roles are growing. Right. So no yes. matter where you're located, there's always going to be a need for skilled individuals globally, wherever you're located. And you can work for an organization um, that is across the country, um, but you are in Canada or wherever you are um, because they may you know, need help in that area, wherever you are. So it really has expanded. Um, you know, candidates can be located anywhere virtually basically so it just depends on obviously the organization and what their needs are um, but that's something to keep in mind too right so um, yeah. and there's you know they need these people and they need this these skills no matter where and many organizations are in a lot of different areas um, and need people local or regional to that area so yeah definitely yeah. Do you need to have a marketing? I think it's kind of cut off, but background. <laughs> um, so ideally, individuals that do really well in learning marketing cloud are either those that come from a traditional marketing background and, you know, are able to assimilate pretty easily into learning those uh, digital skills. Or if you're in the Salesforce ecosystem, you're a Salesforce admin, um, you have that foundational skill um, as an admin or a foundational skill in Salesforce, really adding a marketing cloud again is niching you and, and giving you those extra skills. That's the ideal situation, right? Um, I think it depends, though, right, Maria? We've talked to individuals that... Um, are kind of in between there and it really just depends on what their learning style is how familiar how quickly they learn what their interests are um, and really what their experience and background is so i think that would probably require some further consultation on yes. you know if this would be a good fit for you yeah i could because i can i kind of think kind of as as career coaches what we would be doing in that situation is you know what is the what is the goal so if you right. don't have i'm assuming kind of from that that you perhaps don't have a marketing, marketing background, background. Mm -hmm. um so you know what you would then be looking at is what is the big goal so is my you know is marketing cloud your big goal and then what are those journey steps that you need to take to get yourself mm -hmm. there so if that is the case and you don't have a marketing background and you don't have right. a sales force um, background either, then you would need to be going in, as Diane said, at that entry level. Right, Which right. Would be right. those administration, um, right. you know, those foundations right. and competencies. But then you would be looking at that next journey step. Okay, yeah. what do I now right. need to add in yeah, to not, get me to marketing right. cloud? Because once mm -hmm. you've had that exposure within Salesforce, you can then, you can then transition, can't you, into marketing cloud? Yeah, so, that that's a good point to bring up at the entry level, because that's true. If, for instance, you just want to go into, um, you know, email marketing and want to be an email marketing specialist um, and niche your, your, you know, in that area, um, you know, you've probably had some experience with email campaigns before or doing something within marketing, but you may not have been working, you know, um, in a marketing role. Um, I think then, you know, upskilling and marketing, um, 
could be, you know, could definitely work for you, but it does depend on the person because I think we have so many different backgrounds of people wanting to, um, to learn and to upskill. And it depends like what's their learning style, you know, um, how easily can they pick up on this new information? Are they familiar at all with these digital platforms? And if so, you know, you might have used something in the past, um, that's similar, you know, to, to marketing cloud, mm-hmm. then I think, you know, you'd be fine to be able to, to upskill a marketing cloud. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think having that bit of exposure, isn't it, is, mm-hmm. is really the key. Mm-hmm. Um, but Sheila, certainly if you wanted to chat with um, myself or Diane, um, we would drop our Candly link in here um, once we're finished. Um, right. And, um, yeah. Feel free to book some time with us because we'd happily go through it and just see mm-hmm. what that, um, what that would look like for you and potentially how we can support you with that. Yeah, that's perfect. So um, I appreciate that. That's good question. So really all good yeah. questions because, um, uh, you know, I've talked to individuals uh, that, you know, are interested in marketing. They kind of have that marketing aptitude. They maybe um, have done, you know, worked again, like I said, in email campaigns or social media campaigns. They they didn't hold a position as a marketing manager or anything like that or have a degree in marketing, but um, they've been working um, with, you know, CRM systems possibly and doing a little bit of that. And that I think upskilling and marketing cloud would be perfectly, you'd be perfectly capable of doing that. And it would be a great, you know, fit for you and a great role for you. So it's all about what are your goals? Where do you see yourself moving into? What type of roles do you want to have in the future? And how are you going to get there? So um, I think we have one more Oh, I think we have chatting. I think we have chatting going on uh, back and forth. And I think this Um, is not serious, right? Actually, you know, you probably will get people in marketing cloud that don't necessarily have a marketing cloud background. But actually, it's how it's all those transferable skills and how people are selling themselves and that experience and that brand of of going in and interviewing and going for those roles. Um, You know, so it does happen, doesn't it, Diane? But it's obviously a lot more um, infrequent. Because we know, you know, we, we our recruitment team, obviously, we, we work closely with them and they do tell us, you know, generally there, there is those requirements around yes. those entry level roles. But certainly people do manage to do it. Right. It's I not think, impossible. It, right. It, it, it is. just makes it easier. It just makes it easier. And you're right. It goes, I, I keep going all back to what are your goals? What kind of role do you want to get into mm-hmm. in marketing? Um and um, bringing up a good point in the comments about, you know, yeah, if you have a if you have a creative background, a design or, you know, writing journalism, well, you're already kind of in marketing. So um, that's really your marketing background and your transferable skills, because you're about that customer experience. You're about, um, you know, um, that creativity. So that's part of it. So um, so that really is marketing. So but again, you're right where we're seeing from our recruitment and and where the demand is coming in are for those individuals that are specifically skilled in marketing cloud and um, maybe have a little bit of that Salesforce background. That's a really attractive um, package to have um, and skill set to have to know about Salesforce and be able to add on that marketing cloud because um, it just might put you at a different level um, and what jobs are available to you if you, you know, are adding on these different certifications. So it's just something to think about. It's like, what are your, you know, what are your goals? What do you hope to move into? What type of role or space do you hope, hope to move into? and which, you know, which roles are most in demand right now. And that's something that we would talk to you about Mm -hmm. and see what's a good fit for you. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. I know that we we've obviously been on for quite some time this evening, yeah. but it's really nice to kind of to right. chat and and you know talk about marketing cloud. But I actually had a conversation today, and I think that's really important. You know, because if you've got a marketing background, mm-hmm. you may actually be kind of put off because you don't have any Salesforce experience. Because right. I was talking to somebody today, and they said, "Oh, I thought that I needed to have Salesforce experience." Mm-hmm as well as marketing to be able to go into marketing cloud. Yeah. Um, but that isn't the case. So you can enter that marketing cloud arena with just a marketing background. But as right. I said, what I explained today is if you've actually got both, mm-hmm. that is an advantage because obviously it's those systems, you know, right. the cloud and the CRM is going to be working so closely together. Right. And so especially if you're going to go into um, perhaps progress into a consulting 
role um, mm -hmm. with Marketing Cloud, you know, having that exposure and actually understanding the competences. Right can really be an advantage. It's um, really an advantage. And it's an advantage yeah. to organization too. If you know that, um, you know, the interaction between obviously sales and marketing is so important. And if you know that interaction well, and you can really get that 360 view of your customer, um, you know, that you would get from, you know, your admin view, you're taking care of your account view to your um, marketing view. That is a, again, it's, it's a great advantage to you to have that because um, either you know, they may always be asking you for, you know, more responsibilities. And if you, again, if you know Salesforce and you know, marketing cloud, it puts you in a really nice position to kind of, you know, take a pick of those jobs that are out there because both those skills are in high demand. So, um, you know, you've got both of them. So you're right. It just depends on where do you want to be? Where do you see see yourself growing? Um, adding on different certifications is always helpful because yeah. as you're adding on more certifications, you're really leveling up um, in your um, the type of roles that are going to be available to you. And also just, again, differentiating yourself, making yourself stand, stand out from the crowd. Um, that's key too. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I don't think we have any more comments right now, but we welcome anybody... Um, to send any comments over to us. We'll get do our best to answer them. Um, we love talking <laughs> about marketing cloud. We love talking about Salesforce. We love talking about careers, right? So we're career coaches. So we like to talk to everybody about, again, how can you harness your skill set, your transferable skills, and couple that with some great um, in-demand skills, Salesforce and marketing cloud, and make sure that you can differentiate yourself from the crowd. So we love to do that. So definitely reach out to us if you want to schedule in a time to talk. If you want to learn more about our training courses as well, um, we can talk about all the options that we have. We do have a marketing cloud course coming up on October 26th, it starts, right, Maria? Yeah. So it's quick. It's coming up quick. It's coming up so quick. <laughs> so quick. I can't believe we're into October already. Right? <laughs> I mean, the weather outside by me is, um, I'm in the States. Maria is located in then um, across the pond for me. And mm -hmm. we probably, we might have the same type of weather right now, though it's getting cold here right now. So oh, um, yeah. It's and, and it's miserable out today. Yeah, it's getting nice dark. To either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's really winter is setting in. It's um it's certainly a shock to the system, especially because right. we've had such a wonderful summer here in the UK. So I think it almost Absolutely. feels colder, although yeah. it's probably not as cold really. But yeah. um but yeah, we, we are experiencing very similar weather by the sounds of it. Right. So so October is going back quickly. Um, but if you want to learn marketing cloud, our class starts on October 26th. So um, definitely reach out, um, go to supermoms.org, take a look at our training. You can enroll in the course right there. And again, if you have any questions or something that we haven't gone over, we'd love to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and tell you about your options and you know, talk about your goals and see if you know, it's a good fit for you. Yeah. And I think that's important, isn't it, Diane? Because also, yes, we can talk to you about training and marketing cloud, but actually we are career coaches. So if you're not even just quite sure if this is the right next move or if this is the right option for you to explore now, we can work through that, can't we, um, right. Diane, mm -hmm. kind of with you individually. So, you know, that's that's where we like to be at, don't we, of, you know, really kind of getting behind the scenes and what you've done before and how you can transfer those skills into that ecosystem. Right. And everybody is unique. You know, you might have um, friends that, you know, uh, family members, whoever that have gone into specific roles and you're like, wow, that looks great. I think I could do that. Um, but, you know, you have your own unique skill set, your own transferable skills, your own background, your own personality. Um, so we kind of do a mini assessment to see, you know, would that work for you? Because we are we're experienced in um, coaching individuals, but also just in general you know, careers, what's out there, job search, all that. So it's taking that assessment and seeing, is this going to be the right move for you? And that's important because what's good for one person may not be good for you. So we're all about trying to match you up to your, to your perfect fit, to your options, and for you to be able to make the most of it. That's where you really thrive, right? When you're doing something that you enjoy and that is well suited for you, that is where you thrive and that's how you can be successful. Yeah, I totally agree. You've got it. You've got it down pat. 
I've got it down pat. Got it down pat. <laughs> I've had quite a bit of experience <laughs> and, um, and marketing class, especially. One thing I want to say too is that for anybody that's listening or out there, I am going to be doing another live session um, next week on Marketing Cloud. And we're going to be talking to our training manager or our, our trainer in the US, Sheila, um, who trains uh, for a Marketing Cloud course. And we're going to be doing a demonstration of Marketing Cloud and what you will learn. And it's going to be at 9 a.m. Central time. I'm located in Central, so um, pretty early then on the West Coast. And then by you, Maria, that would be 3.30? Yeah, yeah, that should be afternoon. Yeah, yeah 3 o'clock yeah, in the afternoon. So we'll have some more announcements on that. You um, hopefully will see it here on LinkedIn. Um, but that might give you a better idea of what Marketing Cloud is um, and see it, you know, a demonstration and everything like that. So I actually, I think it's not going to be live. It's going to be a webinar, but we'll make announcements. Um, we're still putting the finding details together, but just to kind of keep that in the back of your mind on Tuesday, you, you might be able to join us and see what Marketing Cloud is all about. I love our discovery sessions. They're brilliant. Yes. Everybody mm -hmm. always gets such good value, don't they? From, yep. mm -hmm. from kind of seeing that demo and meeting Sheila. Meeting trainer, our great trainer. Yes, um, exactly. And some of, our, um, some of our alumni who have obviously been through the course and mm -hmm. uh, through the other side and placed in roles. So, you know, it is a really interesting, um, an interesting session if you can join us. Perfect. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. And again, if there's any other questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. We'll come back and try to answer those. Reach out to us, find us on LinkedIn, go uh, learn what Supermoms is all about, uh, supermoms.org and find our training courses. And just a reminder that our next marketing cloud course starts on October the 26th. Perfect. And we'll be back again next week. We will. <laughs> We will. Same we'll time. Back. And next <laughs> next Wednesday with our smiling faces um, and talk to everybody again next week as well. Our Thanks Wednesday everyone. slot. See you yeah. then. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>